Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Bly Manor. Season 1, Episode 6, The, the Jolly Corner. Steve and Lacey. Lacey and Steve. Wrong. <laughs> Are you ready to be confused again or what? No. Not I'm, not, really. I'm not confused at all. You're not confused anymore? Not one bit. You, you got it down now? I actually know what's going to happen. Oh, what's going to happen then? What's what's your prediction? Creepy shit. Creepy shit. I can only imagine creepy shit. I just want to see her run. That like really stiff mom run? Yep. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, without further ado, then I think we ought to just get into it. A dough. A, a dough. Let's do a it. Stephen Lacey. Wrong. I didn't see what it said. I didn't either. Lord Wingrave greatly preferred the confines of his office to the comfort of his London flat. He trapped himself there, day and night, tucked away in his work, until there was no room left inside of him for anything else. How are the children? She says they're well, but she's a bit concerned, and that she's happy to elaborate if you'd like to schedule a call. Some things you may want to hear about. No need. I'm happy the children are well. <laughs> what and who you be? Where did you come from? Scotch or bourbon tonight? What in the shit is going Scotch on? Scotch it is. And that one's gone now? Okay. What? Okay. Yourself and your creepy smiling. What? What? Charlotte! Charlotte! I'm on top. Yeah, she's close, but not yet. Thank God for that. Charlotte, I'm here! I, I don't think she cares much about that right now, to be honest. She's early. She's quite early, but never. It's the birth of her daughter. <laughs> Awkward. Do you have a feeling he should be in there? Like a little bit, yeah. Like they they had some weird look between them. Why you outside, Laura? I'm just laying on the ground. I know that you start early on Thursdays. So I thought I'd bring you some coffee. You yanks and your coffee. You might like it. That would be I'm a not no. The best coffee either. The kids have been a little strange lately. Everything's been a bit strange, really. I seem to see less and less of Hannah. She just goes out, I guess. Sometimes I just turn around and, and she's gone. Sometimes people just need to be alone. Or sometimes they just realize that they're dead. Are the kids awake? Um, no, no, they're asleep. So you just got up with the sun, tiptoeing around the kitchen, making awful coffee by yourself, just to come say hi at six in the morning, you know, ticking the music, poppings. You flirt. Fine. I, I, I don't like the way we left it. I wanted to start doing something right, so I thought I'd start with coffee. Are you sure about that? Bad coffee. Because every time I think you might be sure, got this irritating habit of jumping back that like you've just seen a scary bug. But I also like my life the way it is. Nice and boring. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't want to disrupt that. Gotta keep things proper boring, haven't we? <laughs> Look, there's, there's a pub in Bly, right? Would you want to get a drink? It could be kind of boring, right? You know I live above that pub, right? I told you that already, didn't I? Flora? Where are you going, Flora? girl? Flora! Flora! Hey! 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 What are you doing? You don't feel good. How long have you been out here? I just woke up. Yeah. I don't know. Hello? Miles? Or nobody? Oh. Right! Who are you? What? 
I'm sure. Oh. What is it? It's someone in my room, a little boy. Oh. It's not Miles. It's not. It's. Oh. Glenn. I knew it. You were right. I knew it. Hello, you were right. What are you doing here? I didn't drive back. From Having city an affair with oh, your I'm mother. Thinking. Naughty, naughty mommy. If there is a little boy, and you're the only one who can see him. Perhaps he'd like to be your friend. No. There's something wrong with him. Yeah, doesn't have a His face. His face isn't finished. I had a friend when I was your age, too. In this house, in fact. He was a soldier, and I was very afraid of him. Until I gave him a story. I feel like I should be littler. Well, you should be five years old, in fact. You were five years old when this happened. I'm not five years old. I'm eight years old. Why is my age all wrong? You know why, don't you? Because this is a memory. That's right. Keep getting tucked away in one memory or another, and then I start to realise it, and I'll be over as soon as I... Wake up. Wake up. What, what happened? I don't know. I had a memory. Sorry. I'm bit of a moment. Oh, a bit of a moment, yeah. yep. That's sure that what I'd okay. call it. I have to go back to sleep. But to dream, not a memory. Okay. I want a dream, not a memory. Okay. Okay. She's like, what the fuck? Is this Clayton? If she's alright, that's all. If she isn't? If she isn't, then why isn't she calling a bloody doctor? Okay. Well, hello, Flora. It's Uncle Henry. Hello. How are you doing, darling? Is this a memory again? Is your mother? Yeah. What's this then? Oh, hi. You're, you're back. I am. Just for a bit. Was not expecting night, that. Last night out of Glasgow. What's happening? Well, I've... Let me well, think I'm of a lie. Hold on. Man. Safe travels. Uh, uh, uh. He's gonna figure it out. Bad brother. I don't know who you're trying to hide from. Might as well come in. Yeah, creepy me. Come on in. Are you sure we can still afford it? After Peter robbed you blind. Hardly blind. I replaced all of it as you know this. Oh, she's likely asleep by now. You'd get the cook again. Or the housekeeper. Or the cute little American. The calls are spooking them. You know it. So it's you that's been calling and... We can take down the address on this envelope and draft a notice of death for Dominic Wingrave and put it in the post. We, we missed you this afternoon. We do enough to... Oh, um, I'm not... Well, I suppose I was around. God, Somewhere. Can I remember this up to me? Henry's not exactly himself anymore. Ever since Charlotte and Dominic went on that blasted trip, well, I suppose none of them came back. They ain't Charlotte and Dominic, obviously, but neither did Henry, if I'm honest. This is creepy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> and? What? I didn't see anything, so. But this one? Special. Wow, that's beautiful. It's a moonflower. This plant only blooms two months a year, and only at night. These flowers will be dead by morning. And tomorrow night, new buds will bloom, and then they'll die. It's what people feel like to me. Exhaustive effort, very little show for them. Oh. So here you go, okay? So Dad's underground, and Mum's under some bloke. And the thing about a coal mine, no plants down there. No life at all. Finally climbs back to the land we live in. They laugh at him. They laugh because the whole town knows that the new baby, my little brother Mikey, isn't his. And I come home from school to find Mikey. Alone. You're not supposed to care. Just a bunch of stale, perverted men. Got himself into all sorts of trouble there. 
I've been observing a couple of years, and it's there I start gardening. I fucking love it. Love it. And it's so clear then. Quite a story. Right. People aren't worth it. But plants, you pour your love and your effort and your nourishment into them. And you see where it goes. You watch them grow. And all makes sense. Sometimes, it's in a blue goddamn moon, I guess. Someone, like this moonflower, just might be worth the effort. I know you're carrying this guilt around, but I also know that you don't decide who lives and who doesn't. Humans are organic. It's a fact. But meant to die. It's natural. Beautiful. And it all mm. breaks down and rises back up and breaks down again. And every living thing grows out of every dying thing. That life refreshes and recycles and on and on it goes. We leave more life behind to take our place. Like this moon club. Ooh. Like a metaphor for the them. It's only going to last a very short while before it dies. What are we going to do about this? <laughs> Shouldn't be doing it to I begin with, know. but... Oh, okay. Is that like a Is manifestation of his guilt or something? Or... I think so. Yeah. Seems that way to me. You have to live with yourself. Yeah, you have to live with yourself oh literally. Oh my god. What have you done? I'm sorry I won't make the Does that mean that Flora is really his? I think so. She's six. The way when she was given birth to Flora and the way he was yep. looking. That's what I'm thinking. And now he's buying her a dollhouse and yeah. So he's the one that bought her the dollhouse. Perhaps we could hide this in the study until the party. Sounds good. Darling, look what your brother's brought. It's terrific. Uh oh. He's catching on. What are you doing here, just sitting in the dark? Contemplating his wife to sleep. and his brother's Extra affair. He's going to kill her. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I think it's a murder-suicide. Yep. You should get some rest as well. Are you coming to bed? For his birthday. Got me thinking. I wasn't around. What a yeah. strange night that was. We're supposed to forget, they say. It's the only way we'd ever have another one. Nope. She was so early. So early. She was so premature. She was. But for a baby that early, she wasn't nearly as small as I expected. See? He's catching on. I guess we'd better talk about this. She was actually right on time. That math wouldn't work. She kind of had to be early, didn't she? Or else it would mean she was conceived in August, while I was in Russia. It took me six years to do the math, because I didn't want to, did I? Denial. It was gone an awful lot, wasn't I? Do you love him? <laughs> Fuck this conversation. Right? Wow. Oh, wow. This, wow. It, it's getting deep here. The au pair could not remember the last time she'd slept this well. There's the run. Yes, doing? the mom run. The Hi. stiff mom run. What's happening? Are you okay? <laughs> Were you sleepwalking again? I think I was swept away again. Why does this keep happening? Uh, I, because of Rebecca, apparently. She gonna touch your head again. You're gonna be in a memory. I'm terribly sorry for the trouble. I was just going to walk. I didn't mean to allow me. Let's get some breakfast, shall we? I positively famished. So now she's Rebecca again, like, because she was too disoriented before, I feel like, and now she's all normal and she's positively famished. I think maybe you should... Is anyone hurt? Do they need an ambulance? I'm unavailable unless someone is hurt. Dude, you got some issues. Yeah. You need to work Even she through. knows that shit. Fine. Fine. Get her back on the phone. Oh, are you stepping into a memory? What's all this then? Is he also yep. is he also dead and he, he doesn't know it? Like Hannah? 
How stupid you must have thought of me. But listen, and this is the important part. She's my daughter in every way that matters. When she skins her knee, first time some asshole breaks her heart, I'll be there to console her. And when she asks her father to walk her down the aisle, me, not you. I've been thinking about what the right word must be. And I keep getting stuck on banished. You're banished, little brother. You're banished from my house. You're banished from my wife, my children. You don't have a brother anymore. Mm. Yeah, or well, least, I mean... Kind of deserves it. Just yourself. And yeah. yourself, Henry. You and your penis. You gotta live with your yourself. Yeah, and your penis. Literally. Grotesque little demon, yep. isn't he? And he's gonna be sticking around too, apparently. I pity you, because you have to live with him. He literally does. You have to live with yourself. Yep. Yep. He's a shit grinning fucking monster. He's definitely Ooh. got that shit grin. You done fucked up, AA Ron. How far away is India? <laughs> it's further than I miss you, but closer than goodbye. This. It was called a talisman. I used to make them. I've made them since I was your age, really. The, okay, it there's the dolls. Well, it protects people and it keeps them happy. Not really here. Too old. Memory. Too away again. And another memory. The math doesn't work. The math Talk doesn't work. I miss you, mommy. That's the sad part. You should probably wake up now. In the middle of the night, I should probably wake up now. You're eating dinner without me. I don't like it. Oh, that's probably your uncle. Everything's yep. gonna it be is. okay, Flora. Don't Or your dad. Me. Hello? Well, yeah, your Hello? dad. He calls, but he never says anything. One in ten he times can't, you call, she might answer. He can't bring it you to himself to actually. Flora residence? Unlikely. Well, it's not real, but you probably should get it anyway. Why is it not real? Because it's another memory? Because he's stuck in his memories too? Yep. Well. Yep. What are you doing in here? I don't rightly know. Talking with myself. I was talking to myself, yep. Flora. I'm so sorry. I should have told you. I mean, he can do math in his head too. I have done a lot of things differently. India. We're tracing our honeymoon. Forever. I see. I wanted to say goodbye. Charlotte. I mean it. I'm going to make this work. My husband, my family. I needed you to hear it from me. Why I'm going on this trip. You're gonna die. But I couldn't leave. I think. Yeah. That is a... Not more to it than that. Shitty situation. The Not taboo tala daddy. <laughs> really? One last kiss? And hubby's gonna walk in and be like, What's this? And they're gonna Still. die. I want to see it again. No, the night we met. Come on. Yeah. Answer yeah, it. Yeah. Answer no, it. But you have to. You know that. It's the British consulate in India. No. Please. He's saying they that they are dead. News. Please. Yep. There's been an accident. Do it. He's like, do it. I'm so happy. And it's not gonna show it. It's gonna be the end. Watch. It's too too big of a part. What sort of an accident? Okay. Well, surely they're all right. Well, they're not all right. You're wrong. Bad. <laughs> now you have to live with yourself. Yep. yep. That evil grinning you. That Living shit with eating yourself. grin. Hell was having to call Bly, having to break the news, and having her voice be the first one you heard when she picked up the phone. Her little voice saying, Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to take her to a doctor in the morning. That ain't going to help. She needs a psychologist. Yes. Yeah. Boom. The Monday therapy. And out. maybe get out of this house, too, in the you meantime. I'm going to go. Oh. Everyone's dealing with something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you could come back tonight. 
Yeah, tonight. I want you to sleep with me. I don't know, you got your hands full. Just good night, no kiss. Okay. There are other nights. And there will be other nights. Really? There you go. Promise? I I am gonna take the kiss as a promise. <laughs> Disconnected. Phone trouble. Is he going? What are you doing? Going. What? Yeah. Going to Bly. You couldn't do anything anyway. I have a terrible feeling. No, that sells it. Uh, is that the faceless little girl or boy again? Yep. Fuck that, man. Something's gonna pop out. Fuck you, dolls. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Nope. There you are. Oh. B so trying scared. to blend right in with the dolls. I thought I'd give you a story. So sorry about your face. Try this. What? Did you just take off the face of a doll? <laughs> Okay, mask. That's creepy yeah. as shit. That is worse. No. That is worse. Take, okay? Yeah. Story. Just for you. Go back to pantyhose face. I've done it again. Haven't I? Because the night I did this, the night I gave you a new face, I was only just five years old. Wasn't I? Apparently, this happened three Why years ago. Why do you keep doing this to me? Just tell me. Why'd you keep pushing me aside, Miss Jessel? I don't get that part. Why is it Miss Jessel? Come on now. Why is it Rebecca? No I don't like this game. Stop hiding from me. I want to talk to you. Everything is just fine. It's perfect. It's not. It's, yeah. I'm tired of it's... being tucked away. I'm tired of forgetting things. And I'm tired of acting strange. And I'm mild acting strange. What's the matter with Miles? Miles is perfectly splendid, except when no. he isn't. Isn't splendid? Isn't Miles? He's Peter fucking Quint. Clara? What? What? She's seeing her. It's only Miss Jessel. Shh, sh 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 what the fuck? <laughs> Well, I guess this is happening. Oh shit. Miles! And Rebecca's in Flora again. Flora! 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 Oh, now we're in the attic. Flora! Yeah. Flora, we gotta go! We're s Come on! Wait, is somebody's body in the attic? Sorry. Something there. Something, I think. That was Miles. My, no. Miles just knocked her out. No. It was Miles. No. Yes, it was. It was Miles, but it wasn't Miles. Right? Is Peter fucking Quint. Well, not to be rude, I got stuff to take out. We have another episode of this to watch. We're going to recap at the beginning of the next one. That's okay? fine. I think we got... Majority, this was a great episode, the by the way. I do want to talk. I on. do want to talk yeah. about it at the beginning of episode eight. So stay tuned for that. We'll recap everything on that. I got stuff I have to get out of the oven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll discuss at the beginning of the next episode. So it was excited. a great episode. Yes, though. it was. I hated the, the first fifteen minutes of it. It was hated a little it. slow going, like the like, first twenty F minutes. This, this, this and is then it started be a snooze fest, and then it got hot, and then it started all coming together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Let's discuss it at the beginning. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Full show. Make sure good episode. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. That's right. Do it now. Share the video and squish that bell. Squish it real good. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Until next time. And Bly Manor. Peace out.